Okay, so I separated them. Yeah, and then Nellie came over and she wanted to be on me and that didn't really work. Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and newbies. My name is Marlene McCohen. This is Monty and welcome to my channel. Okay. So listen, I'm hiding in this room because we're gonna do something really cute and fun and I think you guys will enjoy it and it's gonna be all about Rocky. And I know you guys love Rocky, so I hope you're gonna enjoy this. But before we get to it, I wanna give you some backstory. This right here is a dog crate. And Rocky, he used to have one and like he chewed it all up and he just loved it. And now whenever he sees even the littlest crate, do you remember in the video when Christina brought over the mustache parakeet, Evie? Rocky literally went into her pink carry-on, like so tiny. So I decided to surprise Rocky and get him one of these today. But I need to talk to you guys about a few things first, okay? The reason birds or especially Rocky likes this crate and things like this is because it stimulates nesting behavior a little bit in Rocky's case. Actually in Rocky's case, he more so loves to go in there and sing. So that's what I'm really hoping that he's gonna do. Sometimes it can be kind of controversial giving birds nesting materials, but I just wanna clear up some things for you guys. First of all, Rocky is a male, so he is at no risk of egg binding or laying any any eggs, so that's the first thing that you need to know. So with males, you would wanna worry about aggressive behavior. Rocky, he was locked up in his cage for 10 years. He does have some aggression issues, but he has lots of other places in the house that he behaves towards, and it doesn't really make him any more aggressive. If you really know how to manipulate light therapy with your birds, then you could pretty much get through hormonal season easy breezy. I think Light therapy is something that we probably should talk about in a video because it's a really natural way of just helping them through their hormonal periods. You guys see in my videos that everyone always talks about how quiet and chill my birds are. I don't really have so many issues with birds being hormonal. I do have Vinny flying down at his boxes, but I gotta be honest because I see a lot of comments about this. Vinny doesn't just do that all day long. This is something that Vinny likes to do. It's kind of fun. He has a personality where he loves to play that game with George and I do play it up for videos because come on, it never gets old. But I know my birds really, really well. Vinny is the sweetest, sweetest of birds. And when I say that rose-breasted cockatoos are aggressive, what I really mean is moody. They just can be like the sweetest one minute and then kind of like very territorial the next minute. So it is something natural to their behavior. But anyway, I just had to put a few of those disclaimers in because sometimes people leave comments when they don't really watch an entire video or they don't watch my other videos and they don't know full story. So um, I just want you guys to know that. So George doesn't know what I got for Rocky. So I'm gonna put Monty away and then I'm gonna bring this out and we're gonna see what his reaction is. Okay, here we go. Rocky's all washed up. Rocky just had a shower. Rocky, I got you a present. What do you think it is? Are you excited? That means he doesn't know. Are you excited? Yay! You're excited? Why are you excited? Do you know what it is? No, I don't, but you've been kind of like holding it back for me too. So I'm excited too. Okay. <laughs> oh look, he wants to know. Okay, okay. Mom! Mom wanted to see Rocky's reaction. She didn't believe me. Mom! Don't you want to see Rocky's reaction? Okay, excited. For those of you new to my channel, Rocky was locked in a cage for 10 years. Not by any malice or anything like that, although it sounds pretty bad. What happened was he was with a bird owner who's amazing with birds. She had two macaws, Rocky and another bird, and she was great with Rocky for about seven years. He was her baby. And then the female macaw laid an egg, and that obviously made Rocky 
pretty hormonal and he wasn't really interested in that female at all. And he bit her one day and she couldn't get Rocky off and he just kept biting on and both of them got scared of each other because of the way she like went like this, you know, to get him off. And whenever she approached his cage, he was very scared. So they basically had a hard time with each other and then he started liking the husband and then eventually he didn't come out anymore. So he was locked up for 10 years. You could also just put that on the bottom of the hair. It was like a little scripture for them to read and that's it. I'm sorry, what? Have, what input have you ever had on I my video? I have good input. Okay. You know. Like, you don't know. talk, just make everyone read. Yeah, he's gonna receive his gift. Okay. Oh, but I can't, he's so cute getting his gifts. I love him. So I'm gonna get it, and then I'm gonna put the camera on you so we could see. I wish I had more light in this hallway. I guess I, guess I should take this off. <laughs> Who is that for? He's like, let me make. Rocky, can I keep it? Can I take it away? Here, I'm gonna put it here and see if he's like, taking You wanna go get it? He, he's telling you to put him down. He doesn't know how to jump down here. Look, mom, look. He's gonna talk, watch. Did you hear him say that? Yeah. What did he He's say? He's gonna talk, come. Get that stuff out. <laughs> He's gonna sing in there and it's checking it all out, measuring it. Like that, buddy? Yeah, mom. Mom didn't believe me. I'm like, she's like, how? I don't understand how you know he's gonna want this thing. I'm like, believe me. And thank you to Sasha over at Petco for building it for me. Rocky, we want you to sing. He's checking the dimensions. He's like, I'll contract this part out. Stretch this uh, kitchen out over here. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna love me more since I got you this? This is some hardcore stuff. Yeah. I almost came home with an igloo. But then I was like, where's that gonna go? Yeah, like if you close him in there and you cover it, he'll sing. But how do you know that? How do I know? Because he goes and sings in small spaces. Oh. So like he goes in there, anytime he goes in a small yeah. space, yeah, and he sings. But you see, the problem is I can't fit inside there with him. <laughs> Listen, George, you can't like actually marry the bird. But what's going on, Rocky? The problem is, guys, I want I want to not talk, so you can hear him talk. But he likes to talk when I talk. If you know what I mean, like me talking makes him talk. Oh, he loves whispering. Every night when I put him to bed, I go. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Rocky. I think he's starting to blush a little bit. Do you guys see Rocky's white and black toes? Look how gorgeous Rocky's feathers are. By the way, the black on his feathers, they're just wet. Those are wet feathers. He just came out of the shower. Let's go see what the other birds are doing. Ugh! All right, let's see what everyone's doing. Is Jersey sleepy? Cray Cray over here. You want to hear Nelly talk? Nelly. Nelly has lipstick all over her. 
Hi, baby. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Okay, I just want you guys to see. Do you see this blinking, this slow blink that Nelly does? Yeah. She's like an old Hollywood actress, you know, that's like flirting and trying to make you love her. Watch. She does this like face. Like, oh, I'm so beautiful. Oh. Monty, he's like an angry ex. He's the angry ex-husband. Right, Monty? We have Cody. Cody's in here temporarily because my mom was cooking for the first time in eight years. That's right, it's about 10. No, it's not, it's like eight months. Well, maybe 10 months. Who cooks for you? Daddy. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I clean up. True. He's a good cook. What do you think of the, the bird loving the present? I'm very shocked, because honest to God, I did, when you were telling me in the store that he was gonna go in there, I, I, I thought, I don't think so. But he just went right in there. It's cute. He's gonna occupy him. What about my baby? What about my baby? Who is the prettiest? Why are you wearing lipstick? Why are you wearing lipstick? I just want to reiterate something. You'll see that my birds are all outside of their cages, hanging out. You have to create an environment that you can handle. Like, you never want to have more birds than you can actually handle. And even if you're not, like, having them all on your shoulder, you have to have stands where the birds can all hang out. Let's say Leo was a bird that, I don't know, didn't like me, wanted a bite. That doesn't matter. That doesn't mean he has to be in his cage. Like, a big stand and just like this one, birds can just hang out on. It's not about their relationship with you. The first thing is really about how you are improving their life. That's the most important thing. Oh, and Vinny is literally in a box right now. So like, I don't even know. He's just in here. You could hear him. And then once dinner's ready, Cody's gonna come out and eat with us, but he like tries to like guard the kettle and he won't let my mom near this side of the kitchen over here. He's obsessed with this side of the kitchen, so he just like won't let anyone there and it's just like it's not even about small spaces he just he thinks that's his kitchen like you can't open any drawers you can't open any cupboards like so in a little bit i'll show you how he is with his little tent it's so cute there goes my mom she starts off very mom like i made dinner and then she's like get it up yourself look you made dinner i did i made a beautiful soup for them we're gonna and rice you have to call dad and tell him what you did. Um, well, there is pictures you can send in video. We will. Cook me dinner. This is me dinner. <laughs> this is me dinner. I just cooked me dinner. How does it feel that there's a camera always on you, Mom? Uh, as long as I look good, who cares? <laughs> hey, left his underwear here. The last time he was here was the big, like, mystery who owned the big underwear. <laughs> yes, you did know about the mystery. I have no idea. We had from before from eight. <laughs> I can't. This is awesome. Now you see Danny's but underwear Danny's stolen like, by Rocky. Rocky went and got his underwear. Uh -huh. I thought Danny threw his underwear there and like to give something for You thought Rocky. my brother put his underwear in Rocky's cage. I know. It was kind of weird. I was like, nah, there's no way you would have done that. But whatever, you know. Okay, guys. So this is really weird. We come downstairs and my brother's underwear is in Rocky's cage, okay? And like, if that wasn't suspicious enough, my brother walks by and goes, oh my God, there's my underwear. I was looking for him. We're like, you didn't give that to him? Basically, my brother loves Rocky, so he was hanging out with Rocky a lot and Rocky loves fabric, especially anything that's red or orange and Rocky I guess stole it from my brother's room and then took it into his cage and then like puked on it so yeah
He already broke it. Look. Okay, I'm gonna put some toys in there for you. Oh boy. Put Danny's underwear. Good idea. By the way, you might see a lot of videos of macaws with laundry. It's the exact same thing. This is why. Come here. Oh, I'm gonna. Hi there, baby. Go hang out in your spot. <laughs> he just plays there. He never even gets aggressive or anything. Harry, what do you think of all this? Are you a pretty doggy? Yes, you are. Vinny, let's do beats together. Vinny's a beat bus. Yeah. My little goofball. <laughs> you want more? Okay. I'll... Okay, I'll do more. You want a different song? Different beats? Yeah? See how he changes it and matches me? He's so smart. Ignore my bad beatboxing. Guys, this is my mother. Do you know what I just got you? Bannister cleaning spray. Next day. Oh my God, Marlene, do you know what I just got you? A very special, what do you call it, mom? Countertops, what do you call it? Marlene, do you know what I just got you today? Granite cleaning powder, especially for your granite countertop. How come this house doesn't have a Ouija brush? A Ouija brush? What'd you ask for? No, I said you need some Brillo pads. Oh, a Brillo pad. Oh, isn't this wall cleaner fabulous? Come here and I'll show you how to use it. Hey mom, do you think you could get me like a corner cleaner just to clean certain corners of the walls? Oh yeah, you know where they have it? I'll tell you where they have it. Nelly, Monty, are you guys fighting? Okay, so I separated them. Yeah, and then Nelly came over and she wanted to be on me and that didn't really work. Okay guys, that was just a little video to show you kind of like an evening with the birds. I hope you enjoyed that. Rocky loves to sing. I hope you could hear a little bit of that. Birds kind of like to match their flock calls. So a lot of times they'll be really quiet until I talk because then they start trying to match the activities. So most of the time when I want him to sing, I gotta sing or I gotta talk too, which then makes it hard for you guys to hear. It's the same with Vinny. A lot of people are like, why are you talking over him? I'm like, cause he responds to me talking. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to check out my links in the description box. If you guys want early access to my videos, check out my Patreon, it's really cool. Even if you don't wanna become a patron, but you just wanna follow the page, you totally can. If you guys want any special shout outs for anybody's birthday or anything, check out Cameo. I have a link below for shout outs. And obviously check out my Amazon link where I have lists of things for birds. So if you're just starting out or genuinely curious, give that a look too. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. Bye.